<laughs> well, good. Yeah, I'm, good be. I'm glad about the time, pal, because I thought I'd missed it again. I was like, if this IT does me this time, I'll be raging. No, no, so. no, no, we, we might be late, but we'll never let you down. <laughs> yeah. Your cigar's nice, nice. So, without further ado, I'm going to actually just get my drink. Two seconds. Oh, uh, cheers. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> cheers, Stephen. Cheers, man. Cheers. And gentlemen. Put your drink in, Stephen. Put your drink in. Uh, I am drinking from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Um, Black Oak. Yeah, darling. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Are you, what are you on? I'm on the uh, Colhoman 2020. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, nice. I like that. Nice. Lovely. I like, I like that. Really man. nice. I'm drinking it's pepper. called Colhoman. Look. Was it you're on, Stephen? Peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. The choice of the connoisseur. Exactly, exactly. The choice of the driver. <laughs> Peter, what are you on, mate? Uh, I... Porlinka? No, no, I have some... Um, something very similar from home. Something similarly strong, but much smoother. Easier on the throat. Yeah, well, yeah that's water. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, thank you, thank you, my friend. Peter got a, a gram earlier. What was it? It was the oh, what was the name on the bottle? The more, the more. Yeah. So there's a there's a small distillery around the back of the shop, and it makes mm -hmm. it, it makes Edinburgh gin, and uh, right. they started making rum. And remember, I came up to you, Stephen, with the the rum. Edinburgh rum, yeah. But um, the guy gave us a wee a wee tester of uh, the Dalmore uh, whiskey so I just gave it to Peter because I knew that I wouldn't be able to, to smoke it smoke it, oh, man. drink it have you got your, your nubs ready? Rubs are ready no, no let it up yet Stevie it's a challenge so we'll all spark at the same time have you, have you cut your cigars? cut your cigars yeah. aye what one did you all go for? Maduro. Uh, Cameroon. Cameroon 5.6. Well, I went for the Connecticut. I went for the Sun Grown. Nice. 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 What did you go for, <coughs> Pete? Uh, I have the Cameroon 3.5.6. Right, I think we're gonna have to sort this out. We're gonna have to sort this out. We've got two Stevens and two Peters, like hey. So <laughs> just call me Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you, we'll I was call you Pete, and we'll call Mr. Sigligetti Pedro. Yeah. How does right. that sound? Okay. Yeah, okay, do it, boss. So, okay with that. So that I, I just call Pedro. I just call Steven yeah. Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. So, I'm gonna do anyone read up about that? Uh, we're ready to spark. Yeah. Ready? Right. Good. Sub challenge 2020. Here we go. A nice toast in. Hey, Ken, if I want to canoe it or no, eh? <laughs> there we go, man. What does that mean, canoe it? Got a nice ledge, so they like the ass stays for ages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, ring, what ring gauge, Stevie, are they? It's got to be about a 60 or something, is it? No? About so, I've, I've not actually got any information in front of me, but I think they are about a 60, mate. You know? This, one, this one's even bigger. Is it? Wee fat boy. Fucking. 
<laughs> they, all come, they all come in different. Uh, they have different. For the, they're like they model different numbers. Ages. They all uh, have different ages, but they are usually around 60, give or take. So 56 up to 60. Nice. Very nice. Here, uh, nice with that whiskey. Yeah. I use all wet for darker ones. Um, oh, you you went for the Maduro, yeah? Oh, aye. I like a Maduro when it's a shot or stick, like eh? Uh huh. What? What? Go and let me see the colour of that, Pete. Let me see the colour of that. <coughs> it's right dark, eh? Oh, aye, it's, it's a dark leaf. Strong flavour. Oh, that eh? looks good. Because yeah, yeah. is that the darkest one, Stevie, that Pete's got? I mean, it, the, the wrapper's definitely the darkest, but the what's the other one? The um, is it? It's not the Cameroon. What, what one have you I've got? I've got Pedro? the Cameroon. Right. Uh, the, the two darkest, yeah. The one of them was the Cameroon. Yeah. They had two different kinds. One of them was the, almost as dark as the Maduro. Yeah. It's I used to a, not like Maduro that much, but the mere I smoke cigars, you just get mere and mere into the stronger hands, eh? Yeah. Well, Aye, got, definitely, got, Pete. I yeah. like strong. They've got something else to offer, eh? To be honest with you, I like a lighter one myself, but that's just, I'd prefer... Uh, I like the dark one. I'd prefer to smoke a, a lighter like, blend and smoke all night. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Smoke for a long, longer period of time. Mm. The Maduro's... So, uh, yeah. So I like, eh? Yeah. We did that in mind, didn't we, Stephen? We, we, hit, we hit a cigar, and then, like, an hour later, we did another one. <laughs> so, the light, you can just keep going. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Right. Definitely, like, hey, that was, a, that was a Davidoff as well, wasn't it? Davidoff, and then a Davidoff late hour. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. I can get too much, get too much of the smoking loads of cigars. Maybe we went to that... Uh, Robbie Burns type thing. What was it? No, it was uh, Robert and Bruce's castle. We smoked about like four or five cigars. Because we were coughing up blood the next day. It's because we hit George Street after it. Like. Um, <laughs> was that a, a, an organised night out or right. was it a random or? No, no, it, was, it wasn't random at all. It was uh, one of our competitors actually is a friend, like, but. Uh, Mira Alexi is a competitor. Um, he put on a night. They have these uh, tasting nights and all that. But this was a bit like this. <coughs> and this is obviously a virtual one. Yeah. But this was on the grandest scale possible. Do you know, it was in uh, one of the, the Bruce mansions uh, that's still owned by the Bruce family. Um, the one over in Dunfermline. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so there was a I'm bus sorry. out there. Um, 250 quid a ticket. There's a bus out there. Um, spread was amazing. There was loads. Of, there was actually the guy David from uh, Drew Estate Cigars. Um, there was there was figures from the industry there. Do you know what I mean? And there was uh, nice. also whiskey as well. There was loads of whiskey and stuff. Um, but and we were on the Octomore all night. It was brilliant. It's off me. It was crazy. It was crazy. Well, was the Octomore. That's that's really PT, isn't it? The oh, that's what you want with a cigar, man. Oh, that was amazing. Aye, aye. Yeah, nice. I've no, got, no. Um, you pro you've probably have heard of this one, Pete. Uh, sorry, Stephen. Um, it's a Dalmore Cigar Malt. Ah, hold there, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Is this going to be the big guns coming out now? What's coming? What's coming? Has he got some? Oh, oh, yeah. it's got a big stag, uh, stag on it. Hold on, hold on. I've also got on my Dalmore collection, and we've got the Portwood. Nice. Is that nice, uh, Stephen? Uh, that's a lot. That's, that's actually my favourite one. Um, there's a very good one. This one's a nice one. Sherry cask. Oh, sherry cask. What age is that? What's the year old? I tell oh, you what. That, that's that's that one, isn't it? That one. It's not. It's not a million miles away from the the um from the cigar malt, in my opinion. You know, it's a bit lighter, but that's the daddy right there, man. 
What one's that, Stephen? King What's Alexander. that? Oh, King Alexander. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Right. I tell you what, they've got the best balls. They've got the best balls by miles, don't worry. Well, yeah, a big definitely. metal stag yeah. on it. Aye, totally. It's amazing. Aye, definitely, Pete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, going off the subject a wee bit, I got this book as a gift. That's quite a good book, by the way. Really good reading in it. Nice, nice. Who's the author? It's, uh, it's Richard Carlton Hacker. Nice, nice. You see that? Wow, it's, uh, it's a good, it's a nice book. Good book. Oh, um, we've uh, we've got a good selection of books. Uh, I don't know if you've checked them on the site. We've got, we'll try and get that one in as well. But there's uh, King King Habano um, around the world in eighty cigars. I think it's called. Um, That's a good name. Mm -hmm. uh, is there not, I'm sure there's a part of gas book as well. But um, it's right. There's some really, really good. I like reading a bit cigars, man. Do you know what I mean? Is that a Paragas book? Just a book called oh, Good Paragas. I'm oh, sure it is. I'm sure it is, man. Eh? But hey, it's no cheap, honestly. No, I'm well, not. It is. It says Paragas on it. <laughs> <laughs> How are we getting all the cigars? You're fairly rocking with that. My right, good. It's. Uh, I'm hardly. Oh, yeah, nice one, oh, lovely. Like what a nice taste. Like <laughs> so the, the challenge is like, keep um, the as long as we can, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a thing. It's not something that um, we've came up with ourselves. It's uh, we've basically just took the idea from. Um, it might have even been a lever who who make the brand nub, but when the you nub came this, out, eh? now now I lever make nub. Um, Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, or somebody can correct me if this is on YouTube in the comments, but I'm sure that when the nub came out, it was the reason round the whole dimensions of the nub cigar is people that want that, you know, that draw you get when you smoke a big, like a, a Monty 2 or something. Uh, aye. And, you know, yeah. by the time you but, get three, three quarters of the way doing it, and it's just built up the, the rich oils and stuff. Um, people that wanted... Yeah. That experience, that intensity, um, and that like in gra grandiose sort of smoke from the draw, they wanted Aye. that, but they never had, you know, 40 minutes, 50 minutes to start a cigar Aye, to, off. To, to spare, right? Mm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. basically, the, the thicker your cigar, the more oils it's going to produce. Nice so, and sweet. You know, the. the nice cigar, and sweet. Is that sweet? Yeah. I, the. So that's the whole point in the nub, but I've seen uh, I've seen adverts for the nub, and it's basically just the whole cigar smoked up to there, and it's still standing like that. Do you know what I mean? So it's a thing, aye. And uh, in uh, in New York, in the smoking lounges in New York, they have the uh, similar ideas. You know, you get to pick a cigar, you get two matches, you get a minute to spark it. And then the idea is to just keep the ash on it, you know, and you've got these businessmen in their suits and stuff, you know, and they're like smoking the cigar, but the way they're smoking it, you know. Fucking <laughs> 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 Not like getting that. beaten by gravity. Aye, <laughs> aye, exactly. We're wearing a suit very expensive than my house, man. Mm. <laughs> it's the membership, the membership for the cigar lounge in New York's more, more expensive than our house is like, hey, man. So the nub is actually a slang word for the end of the cigar, yeah? So when Oliva came up with this uh, concept, they called it nub because always the last third holds the most strength, the most characteristic. So nice. they used the name. And the Vitola name is uh, Gordito. Uh, what was that, Pedro? Gordito is the name of the Vitola, the name of the size. Five inch or less. Nice and over 58, 60 gauge, usually. Now this existed before the nub was created, but they were the one who really popularized it from the Cubans. In Cuban cigars, you don't really get the Gordito Vitola, the ones that you are holding all of you in your hand. The closest size-wise by length and gauge would be the Rothschild. Wow, look at that. 
Mac and Udo. Mac and Udo and the the size is Rothschild. But the Rothschild's still quite thin, yeah? Just the would be the closest by either length or by gauge, depending on the. Okay, yeah. I thought, honestly, Steve, I thought, how, sorry. Sorry. No, I was just going to ask how, what, what, how much are they coming in it, the nubs? Um, how much they, are they? They're about 15 quid, be, between 15 to 20 quid just now, 2020. Um, Aye, the Maduro's, the size that you've got, it was about, it was between 15 and 18 pounds. I think the thicker one, um, none of them are over 20 just now, you know, right. but uh, g give it a year or so, like, eh, with the way that the, once the budget's announced and all that, and <laughs> any factors in you know. Let's the money back, or the taxes will be shooting up, man. Crazy, yeah. It's crazy. Okay. But, we'll um, getting raps. <laughs> I know. I know. I smoked a, a, oh, what was it? It was a Cohiba. What's the torpedo? Oh. The torpedo Cohiba, the big one. Is it Siglo 5? Mm -hmm. Is it the I smoked one? I've smoked one, and honestly, this just, the ash stayed on it. But, and it's about this size, Ken. The ash stayed on it. Uh -huh. Something was happening, it burned down all one side, and that's the only reason the ash stayed on it because it was aye, like it was, you know, <laughs> aye, the, cigar, the cigar was absolutely goose, but it's only because uh, they never properly looked after it, you know, it, was, it wasn't kept in a humidified environment, so in a humid enough environment, and uh, it was actually kept in a travel case. Yeah. And I yeah. thought, man, I'm just going to smoke it, but uh, it, was, it was all right, and it was an impressive ash, but. The only reason was because it was like had a you know half it burned down, Ken. Mm -hmm. but this is Andy, nice. You must get to smoke some. You must get to smoke some cigars, mate. Honestly, that must be the best job in the world you've got. Yeah, he has got the best job in the world, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always oh. telling you that. <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely, you get to you get to chill with your mates on Zoom and smoke cigars and uh, talk about them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting you learn the cigars. You know, I've got the pipes and stuff occasionally, but I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm not trying all the pipe tobaccos. Although I do want to try that new uh, Gabbath and Hogarth uh, seasonal reserve. Did you get Mark? Did you get a wee bit of that? Aye? Did you get your thing? Is that today, what's in the small bag that aye, I got? Aye, 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 aye. I got my parcel. I am. I phoned Cal to, to pay for it, but I didn't know what was in the wee bag. Is that the the sample of the... What is that? Is that the Christmas Reserve? Yes. It's the Gawith and Hogarth Seasonal Reserve 2020, so 50 gram tin. Right. Um, it's quite quite like cherry vanilla, but it's like cherry bakewell tart almost. It's uh, it's nice. Right. I thought like I had a wee bit myself. I'm, I'm going to smoke some of it. Um, I need to crack the pipe out. What? Like, what um what kind of strength, Stevie? Is it a three or two? Pedro was said it, it was a pretty strong. Similar like. to the Petersons. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was more, leaning towards more like the three. It was uh, a very specific type of flavour, but, but it was uh, nice. It, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure people really enjoy no, it. No, no tongue bite, Pedro. No tongue bite. Uh, there was none for me. Well, yeah, right, because I smoke was... like a steam train. Stevie can have I smoke. <laughs> what is it? That, what is it that really triggers the tongue bite? Is it? It's the Virginias, yeah. Well, it could tongue be bite. A, a couple of things. If it's if you smoke it too hot or fast, if the tobacco is not kept and moist enough, if it dries out, it's gonna burn quicker. Yeah, you're gonna have to right. puff it more frequently to keep it lit. So you're basically just creating the situation which you know burns your tongue. But well, I yeah. find Stevie with a milder tobacco. This is me because I like strong. If it's a mild tobacco and I can't get a decent draw out of it or a decent kick out of it, then obviously I'm going like a steam train and it's tongue bite severe. That's mm. why black and brown will always do it for me because I've never had tongue bite for that. The same way excudo. 
You know the Excudo? Uh, the, the circular. Floor, yeah? Eh? The Scudo's a Balkan mixture, yeah? No, 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 Aye, sorry, I'm I thinking look, Exmo. Sorry. No, Aye, sorry. No, Excudo, it's, it's a Virginia, Burley, uh -huh. a Cavendish, and that's another nice one. No as aromatic as the likes of uh, black and brown, but black yeah. and brown does it for me. But I think the milder the tobacco, the more tongue bite I get. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the same with cigars as well. If you smoke a cigar too fast, Ken, yeah. that's what I always mm. say to people. If uh, they're, you know, they're just smoking, it's maybe their first cigar or they're looking for some advice and it's pretty obvious it's their first cigar, tell them not to yeah. go too crazy at the start, you know, because... If it's, it's tight in that, I know, eh? If it's a tight draw, I, I get sometimes with a cigar, eh? Because you've got, like, soup in that. Aye. If you get too fast, you get the oil at the end, and it's no nice in that, eh? No, no, definitely not, man. Definitely. And there's so many factors that go into it, you know what I mean? And that's another good thing about cigars. It's the same with your, your whiskies and all that as well. They need to be kept in, you know... Decent conditions, you know, Aye. and to, to get the most Definitely. out of it. You know, actually, something I learned last week <coughs> of a uh, boy called Johnny Scott, Sir Johnny Scott, he makes all our uh, Sir Walter Scott snuff. Um, snuff Aye. is yep. better warm, you know, slightly warm. You know, it's, it's got to be warm in your pocket, but it's better well, warm I because you... You get the more the, the more flavours and the the tastes they're, they're more prevalent. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even it goes with snuff as well. And your your humidor. Um, I know it's all about the humidity, but temperature is quite important as well. You know. Mm. Uh, Stevie, can, can I ask a question? Right, you're talking about the humidor there, right? <clears throat> um, how do you okay got the packets before? You know the wee humidor packs. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you get that temperature up? Because if it's in my box, right, if it's in my cigar box, how do you get that, like, that heat, if you know what I mean, the temperature? To be honest with you, if it's, in, it... if it's in a box and it's in your house, mate, that should be fine, you know? Should that be all right, aye? Aye, that, that'd be fine, man, because you yeah. have, especially when it's getting into autumn and winter, you'll have the central heating on. Um, it's just, you know, if, if cigars are kept in storage, you know, which some people do. Aye, right, yeah. You know? um, but, yeah, it's just a... So see the... Yep. So see the last cigars we got, the box of cigars, the... Um, I've not opened them yet, because I was going to keep them for a special day. Um, so they'll be fine in that box, in my bureau, with the... With the, the, the you know, the piece of wood, the, the, the cedar wood on, that's fine. Do you leave them like that? Um, aye. They, yes, they will. Um, but if you want to go an extra sort of um, extra length, you could always, I'll give you a A4 Ziploc bag. You know, you can chuck them in that. That's what I do with some of the cigars in the humidor. I've got the specially selected. What, the whole box? I just chuck the whole, the whole box, box inside in it, bag. and then it's, it's you know, the micro environment's inside the box, but just in case it's, uh, yeah. just in case, because it, it's not, a, that box ain't absolutely airtight. I mean, you've got in a cardboard right, box right. as well, don't you? Yeah. But uh, the cardboard I took box. I the cardboard box. I took it out the cardboard right. box, and I placed it in my bureau, just in the box. Kept, kept them in the box. Yeah. Should I put it in the cardboard box? No, man, it's, it's up to yourself. Like, Basically, the the box will be good enough, but if you could keep it in a humidor, like Stephen's got the fridge and stuff, that's ideal. But if you want, uh, and it should be fine just in the bureau by yourself, but if you want to put it inside a Ziploc bag, it's just an extra measure. You know what I mean? And just if an you extra find, measure, yeah. If you, if they're, they're very, uh, there's a lot of oils in them already, you know, but if you find right, any of right. them halfway dry, over a long period of time, you just put a humid pack in, you know. You've got to keep it full, right. all, eh? If you take cigars out, because the moisture goes from one cigar like a sponge into another and then back, it recycles round and round in your humidor. So if you keep right. your humidor full, it keeps them longer, eh? I try to do that, but I end up smoking them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a season in my humidor for a while, so it would barely open in that, eh? You'd pit a bit of water, so, water and all that and like soak up into the wood. 
Yep. So it goes, the, the wood expands and it's like airtight. Is, okay. is it a wee humidor you've got then, um, Pete? Is it a wee humidor I've you've got? I've just got, got? A, wee, a wee box with a digital uh, moisture meter hanging it at the back. Oh, yeah. And it's like, a, it's got a little plastic thing with the, the sort of the spongy bit in it. And it all goes oh, back yeah. and forth through it. But these days it's too empty. I just chuck in the wee bobita packs. At one point I was keeping yeah. it too. But then, like they started, mm. they started this, uh, and back in March, when I was stuck in the house for a couple of weeks. I just smoked them up. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, brilliant. Up again. <laughs> That's good. What you know, about you, Stephen? <coughs> what do you keep using, Stephen? Well, he's got the fridge. Yeah, man. I've oh. got a, I've got a fridge. I've got a, a humidor fridge. You want to see it? Oh yeah. That's yeah, amazing. It's, it's okay to put Go and show it. Go and show it. You'll lose your ass. It's not fair, man. You're, you're hustling me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a ploy. It's a ploy to try and get you in the competition. It's a ploy. It's a ploy. I've well, done it. Is, it's it's ah. not a, it, 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 Everyone that uh, I've seen that's, that has cigars, like, this is the, this is the real deal, like. Look at the room. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's amazing. Well, it's class, right, man, so honestly. Oh, that's nice, uh, That's like yeah. things you see on YouTube and all that, eh? Aye, mate. Oh, that's lovely. Yep, and he's got uh, the Ramona. He's got the Alone H2 in there. Oh, aye. Uh, how, do you, how do you zoom into that, Stevie? Oh, oh, oh. I've got this... Uh, oh, that's nice. I've got this from a, a really good... There was this event, guys. Hosted <laughs> 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 by the pipe shop, a little cigar, so little Havana cigar store. I've got so a Stephen. Is there Thank much you. upkeep with that? Is there much upkeep with that? Um, no, I've got. Yeah. I'll show you what I've done on this drawer. Is I basically just packed it full of the bevidas. Um, right, and then. All I do is if I need any, I speak to Stephen and get more. Uh, but I have an app. Bavida's got this kind of app thing. Oh, um, I want right? to You can see it on your phone. You can see what the temperature yeah. and humidity in that is. So it's up in here. Can you? And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll actually pop it off. That's oh, yes. amazing, eh? So, oh, no, um, Timber. <laughs> but, uh, so it's that there. And um, all that happens oh, is it sends me a, it sends me a text if the temperature drops, if the humidity drops, anything goes wrong, it simply lets me know. So, just keep on top of it. That's amazing. So what is that to be at then, Stephen? Is it to be at like seventy five percent humidity, and is it seventy percent? I don't know. Well, I, you tell me. I keep mine at 60, 65. 60. Give it uh, I, I, sixty five. Eh? Really? Uh, so yeah. when you're talking when you're talking sixty five, sixty five what degrees? No, percent. Percent, percent humidity. humidity. Yeah. That's for right. Humidity. Right. right. New World are maybe higher, I don't know. Yeah. Well, notice all the New World ones are kept in. Uh, they're all in uh, polythene wee bags. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This one, for example, this is a Winston Churchill, but this comes in. So I actually keep, this is a mini humidor itself, which I keep inside it. So it's got oh its own reader. That's stunning, That's, eh? um, That's lovely. That's, yeah, nice. That <laughs> That's nice. And then you've got the, the hygrometer on the front of that drawer there. Yeah. Does that keep working? I used to find them a bit dodgy, the old uh, analog ones. Well, I've got a bunch of digital readout ones throughout it, right. one level, and then this here. So if, every drawer has got its own one. So if the alarm goes off, I just check exactly oh. which one. Uh, but I think but I got, feel you've got a fair collection there, Stephen. That's amazing, eh? I feel it's good always good to keep them in their own little tubes as well. So yeah, um, I, do you, but then you, if any do you like to keep them in the tubes? Yeah, I keep, I keep, so I keep them in the boxes, in the tubes. Um, if I had this one here, uh, this is a really, really nice selection. Um, 
But I've actually got, as you can see, I've got a humo pack in there and a drummer in there. Yeah, yeah. Just to make sure That's everything's nice, perfect. Yeah. That's but if it goes wrong, I just want Stephen and get Stephen to come in and fix it. It's simple. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and that, uh, that big humidity pack you had there, that was 69% humidity. So you can get the yeah. different percent percentages, Mark. Good percentages. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing, though. That's. Is that. So that's like six, I said, that's that looks like upkeep. So that's a 65 in there, and that's a 67. So depends on which what is in the box will depend on. So if I open up this, that, that one there, no, that one, that one I think it is. Um, so that was 72s mm. in that one. That's Depends nice, on yeah. what I've got on each box. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm in mean, a danger zone here. It's getting a bit, yeah, get it's getting a bit lean into the pizza. <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway there. Uh, <laughs> I'm halfway home. Yeah, no, too bad. So, I've got wooden floors though, so if it falls off, I'll be all right. I've got the uh, broom at the end. Yeah, That's, you're all right. You're all right, uh, Peter, until the the wife comes in. Am I right? Aye, 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 I'll aye. be cleaned up by the time she gets back. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> I might just sleep in the living room and leave a nice wee pile for her when she gets back. Like <laughs> this is temperature controlled. This one as well. So select the temperature you want it at. And uh, if it gets too too warm, it just cools itself down. So it's like a mini fridge thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, stunning, that's Stephen. So that's stunning. Yeah, because that's amazing. We're all jealous. Okay, <laughs> I might chuck out my actual fridge and just fit your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that, to... that's stunning, Stephen. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for showing us that. You can come around and have a look at it. Live anytime, man. Right. I'm not doing it government a lot, uh, Stephen, but when I do go, I'll phone Stevie the next time. Nah, no worries. I, that's see, that's what happened when you've made me put that down, guys. You've totally hustled me. Oh. <laughs> ah. It was a point, mate. I, I tried to avoid it. Hey, man. How's Pedro doing? Pedro, how's oh. yours? Pedro, you need to go off your 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 surroundings, guys. Put put come on, put them. <laughs> I know, I know. Just, just conned me. So I'm winning. Look at that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice that's, that's a nice one. It's a nice one, uh, Peter. What is that? Everyone's holding it oh. like that now, so. Oh, aye, like you're going to smoke, going to smoke like that, Honestly, it was like, I, I, I seen that thing on YouTube in, in the cigar lounges and the guys were pure like this, mate, honestly, they were like, they were scared to let it go, again. <laughs> See, when I was a bear, we used to date with fags, and we used to smoke it directly down, centre of gravity, and try and smoke the whole fag up when we were like 15 and that. <laughs> <laughs> outside, outside, test goes under a tree in the rain. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> 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 what, a cigar, what, a, what a case. What a nice case that, uh, Stevie. I was that's not dead, notes. Um, I'm getting a lot of kind of chocolate notes and strong coffee notes. Really, really strong coffee notes with that, like, and a lot of cocoa, like dark chocolate. That's what I'm getting. I don't know if the whiskey, Stephen, you maybe. Uh, but that the whiskey I'm on now is the the cigar reserve Dalmore, so they're maybe complementing each other. The cigar I've got to say is by far and away the best thing to have as a cigar man. You know what that's um, this is designed with? It's actually been paired with a cigar, um, and I got one from Stephen. I can't remember what it was. It was the red one. The red one. It's a number part, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number four, three, four. That's the one. D4, aye. Uh, it's a series section. Um, part of gas oh, D4. Series. That's one of these. I was like, I was like a Lagavulin. Lagavulin 16s, my go to usually with a nice cigar. I like to, I like to get smoky, smoky whiskey. With it. I like to taste like I'm drinking an ashtray when I'm smoking uh, a strong cigar. Like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I, I've got I've got a wee Dalmore glass here, Stephen. 
Yeah. I, I've got to say, I saw that. That look. Oh, oh, oh! Let me see that one. Let me see that. Bring that back up. Yeah. You can't tease us, man. Come on. <laughs> That's got some weight to it. Aye. That, 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 that pewter. Pure weight on that, like. Was it made out of yeah. pewter? Yeah. The pewter at the bottom, man. Yeah. No, for, no for the dishwasher, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. See, no, no, hand wash. Uh, I got yeah. actually a nice um, that glass actually. That was the um, the whiskey shop down Coburn Street. Um, That's beautiful, eh? Is that fine whiskies. Aye, love crystal, Peter. It's lovely. Oh, good weight in it as well. Good uh, weight in it. It's good. I got the mother-in-law one of them for a birthday a few years ago. She loves it. Nice. Aye, good. I like to feel a good weight in the glass, eh? Glen Cairn glasses are nice. Uh, I, I like that. Glen Cairn, aye, yeah. Yeah, aye. Aye, nice, uh, Stephen, aye. A good weight in it. Um, where's my, my brandy glass? That's at the back. This is kind of copper at yeah. the bottom. Fucking get it. No, yeah, that's why you put it like that. You didn't get the burn, mate. <laughs> that's that's what I drink my my brandy in, eh? That's a nice glass, like that's uh, that's quite heavy though. Heavy at the oh, bottom, copper nice. at the bottom, eh? That's very nice. Nice. I think you guys should like start raving and keep your your, your cigars in your hands and you know <laughs> in the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> a daily, a daily cigar wake up. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me, guys. I really can't. Uh, oh, I like to give you the heads up. <laughs> I'll get his next time. I'll have no it like. I totally. Uh, I saw. The Let's see you, Stevie. Let's see you. Uh, that's a fair old size. Like that's. You know what I mean? Who's? Um, by the way, is everybody took off the? The ring, the, the paper. Oh, I know, aye. Aye. You should have taken that off the beginning, man. The vibrations will well, lock you off. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it now. <laughs> now like. Just rip it off, like. That's it off. That's it <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Skills. Beautiful. I've got to say, I'm enjoying nice, this like. Maduro, like. It's getting real good. Nay, he either can say how far I do that is. What kind of taste notes are you getting out of that, Peter? Uh, the, the, uh, the Maduro. Just it's <coughs> too much dark, strong tobacco, like merely and merely than anything like it. But it's like a nice oily. It's got a bit of leatheriness to it. Eh? A bit of yeah. leatheriness to the wrapper. Is it? And it, the wrapper's you can't see the lights no good, but it's burning really well. It's sort of rolling over a bit. Oh, of the, you can the line. see it like it. Aye, aye. You know, it's good. The Maduros, you can actually see. Every draw that's taken, do you know Aye. what I mean? Take a draw and it's like it's like Aye. another wee layer. Ken. What's that E.J. Fernandez mm -hmm. Maduro you did a while ago? Oh, we've it's, still got them upstairs. That it's was box, brilliant. It was like press. a... Aye, box press. That's why I was a... Ken, you've got the... the you know, like uh, the My Father. Yeah. Like the... Well, my Father's nice The Maybe My Father box press. Bijou is incredible. It reminded me of like a baby version of that. You can really see that that is like leather. You can yeah. really see the roll back. You can see the oil on the wrapper when you're smoking it. It's beautiful, yeah. like. Nice. No, no, it is nice. Well, I, Stevie, I, I, go on. Sorry, I go, I, I've still got one through there, Stevie, that I got for you, the, um, the 1922. That's my what a What a gorgeous like cigar. That is a... It, 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 is it a, it's not a torpedo, it's a... Bellicoso. Oh, uh, what is it? No. It's a 52 ring gauge. Yep. It's six inches long. Um, um, obviously, the band, the, 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 the tops and the bottom. It's got uh, a what's the name band, it now? Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a cigar, though. See the chocolate notes I get for that. Oh, that's a You could just... I could just drink coffee with that all, all the time. That's one of these cigars that I could only have one cigar. I'd, that'd I'd be, up there, yeah. be up there for the only cigar I ever smoked. Ah, nice. Lovely. Yeah, you, can't, you can't smoke a cigar like that on an empty stomach. Do you know what I mean? Nah, nah, that's a nice, nice drink in that. Mm. Yeah, I find uh, when I smoke Aye. a cigar that's as big and as strong as that, 
when you're getting down to the final quarter, it's and it's almost too much. You know oh, what I no, mean? That's, that's the why best bit, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, everyone's different. Everyone's power. Oh, that's the best bit. Right? Right, but for me, it's like I would rather smoke for longer, smoke a lighter <laughs> blend, but smoke for longer. Do you know you what get I mean? a long smoke out of the my father, though. It does take a good hour, 10, hour 20. You can just enjoy it. Yeah. Aye. You're right. Aye. You find there's a, for me, there's a switch, you know, and it's it gets down past the halfway mark, you know what I mean? And you get into the last quarter and case totally That's what I like about uh, New World cigars. I think you get many a switch in flavours. You taste the thirds yeah. changing more yeah. than in a Aye. Cuban. The Cubans get it all the way down, but it's got less a change. Well, the Cubans are. Uh, let's see a change, Peter. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of standard all the way. Doing mm. some of the new world joints, Gurkhas are good for that. Good flavour change. You totally taste it all the way. Doing. It's like a different cigar at the bottom. What was that, Peter? What? The new what worlds are like. There, Peter? Gurkhas, I like, I like it. I get Gurkha like it. Yeah. The, gur the Gurkha, Stevie, I've had a few Gurkhas for yeah, you. The Gurkhas. Pedro, you were, you, you were saying something about the Gurkhas the other day. Yeah, yeah. so in a, in a talk, 15, maybe 20 most expensive cigars, the most luxurious ones. Uh, Gurkha takes at least three, maybe five places. Uh, there's an 800 uh, quid Gurkha on a yeah. tube. That's the whole thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> what is that? Who said that? What was that? It's like the an 800 quid Gurkha. All oh, right. I'm sure, what, I'm sure one, of the, one of the Gurkha cigars is so expensive. With the cigar, you also get a... Uh, Invitation to the factory? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get like a fucking sports uh, car with it or something like uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because that... I thought uh, you were going to see a woman or there, Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, I, just, I just sent Pete... Uh, Can't afford that. I just sent Pete the, the new Buster Rhymes song. Buster Rhymes is... Oh, do you remember right. Buster Rhymes? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. He's got the, Buster he's got Rhymes an MOP. Aye, 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 Buster Rhymes and MOP, and it's, uh, in the chorus, he's like, uh, let me light my Gurkha cigar, and it's not just, aye, a, it's not just a line, it's, it's, it's repetitive in the chorus, like this. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know who he's are on about. I don't know who he's are on about, by the way. If that's known the Bud, if that's known the Buddy Holly, or the Elvis, or whoever either, I'm gone, mate, honestly, Stevie. It's just a bit, yeah. it's a hip-hop years, it's a bit that, it's a bit that old. It's probably ages with yourself, man. <laughs> What's up, what age do you think? <laughs> what age do you think I'm be? Come on, I'm not I saying you're 80 year old, can't do it in customer care. Plus the rhymes, I think it must be about, I think it's 55 to 60. Yeah. I know, but no bad, Pete, you've given a five year gap there, that's, that's what you mean, 55 or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 55, my next birthday, Stevie. 55. I'm closing in, closing in on the end here, like it's got a bend in it now. Aye, well, that, oh, that's. Aye. Uh, aye. No, that, when it starts bending in that, like, uh, that's when you have to be, be careful. Aye, like, well, that's why I'm putting the ashtray under it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying not to burn my hands to tell you the truth. Mm. Uh, That's I think we should do a mid challenge. I think we should take our cigars and do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That would be slightly as gone. <laughs> so, so the the winner of this friendly competition. Thank you for all taking part. The winner gets a voucher. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, now you're regretting it, voucher. Voucher. For, for how oh. much, Stevie? Um, when I know. get a Cohiba or something, eh? I'll box a Cohiba Cycle 5 or something. <laughs> 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 okay. I know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> you won't see. You know, we'll see. You know, you can actually see the vein on the cigar, your cigar mark. You can see the vein of the leaf right down. Oh, yeah, ah, you yeah, can, eh? Get the ash, like. Yeah. I should have went with the Maduro. The Maduro, see, that was thinking when I would get it. I was like, that's got the thickest wrapper. Aye, aye. Well, that's... Um, <laughs> and this it's the winner, man. Um, 
This is the uh, the Cameroon. As far as uh, taste notes go, it's uh, it's been a nice cigar. What kind of taste notes are you getting for that, Stevie? Now it's just quite light. Be... It's quite light, quite sandy. You know, it's not overwhelming. Um, Given the the ring gauge, you know, usually something would be if you're smoking it down to that, it's it's quite strong. But no, it's Aye. it's nice. How long have you all been smoking cigars, Pedro? You first. Well, I, I my first cigar was actually when I started to work at the bike shop. I actually got um, uh, good. I got, I got to uh, try, and my first one was I believe uh, at the age of man. Up man. So, Upman. Oh, right, right. Upman. <laughs> I went with the Cuban straight away. And then every now and then when I'm home or it's birthday, Christmas, occasionally uh -huh. one and one. Yeah. Um, yeah probably. But you know me, I'm I'm more like a pipe. I'm more like a pipe person. Ah, you, but you, you I have do. um yeah. I have a special place in my heart for cigars I have but dedicated Cigar pipe as well. That's nice. So once the ash is gone, I'm just going to start the knob. You should, you should, you showed me that in the shop one day when I was in. You showed me that in the horse's head. That's nice. Yeah, yeah it was a, a, a Hungarian pipe maker. Ah, it's nice. Yeah, that's cool that's nice, software. Pedro. That's really nice, I. What about yourself, uh, Peter? When did you start smoking? What was your first cigar? Uh, it's a bit. I've had, I've had cigars on and off, but uh, when I stopped smoking about 10 years ago, I didn't have anything for about two or three years, and then I was in Prague, and I started on a Romeo Juliet in a, in a club, and I've had a smoke for two and a half years, and uh, it was orgasmic just about, just the nicotine, I was like, holy Aye. shit, and after that, I was Aye, me, good, eh? I was like, fuck that it, I'm going to cigars now. <laughs> and then, my what about yourself, Stephen? Sorry, sorry, sorry. See, my missus is me, Steve's yeah. missus, so go on with him and then that was it. The shop opened up to me. That was it. Was it. Yeah, nah. Brilliant, eh? Uh, what about I'll you, Stephen? Peter's, Pete's one of our best customers, like, eh? Can, consistent, it's buy cigars every week, like, eh? You know? I'm just along for the That's shop, brilliant. <laughs> Can't <laughs> stop us here. Oh, you, also, also you're learned. lucky, like, you. two minutes along in a car, and it's like, boom. Aye, <laughs> uh, but then you're 20 minutes getting parked, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, look at look at you now, Mark. You're smoking okay. a cigar, drinking the best whiskey. Aye, I know. <laughs> I, I know, but that oh, comes with um, um, corruption, uh, Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I mean? <laughs> what I mean, Stevie? That doesn't come with fucking painting ceilings and fucking dutching up walls. That comes with total badness. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the hat. <laughs> Hence the hat. Mate, you... Hey, Peter, you're right, you only live once. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, I think I'm just a bit dumbed here, like, I'm just getting burnt fingers through an empty nut. Uh, aye, I'm the same, Peter. What about aye, yourself, okay. Stephen? Thanks, like uh, Cigar-wise, because I think Stephen and Stevie talking, he's, uh, I think Stephen's the, the connoisseur of the... You okay, know what I mean? With, with all this fridges and that going on, he's got to be the, the don if we're, oh. I mean, no, 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 no. I think uh, I think Mr. McKenzie's a doll, and I'm 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 an apprentice at this game. This yeah, <laughs> the pudding is in Eton, and it's right there. You just hustled me. If I was the dawn, I wouldn't have been so easily easily smashed. Look at that. I, I'm, I'm, can man, just see the last on the end of that. Just a bit. <laughs> a bit <of> that. <laughs> just wrong. Look at that. That's just ah. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> well noted, man. <laughs> so, Stephen, what was your first cigar and when? My first cigar would be you know, a long time ago. I worked uh, worked in a nightclub with with um, my old uncle Harry Parks, and I was given what was that thing? Um, it's not really a cigar, Stephen. Um, Ruth ripped into me about them. King Edwards. That's the one. Um, mm. so, uh, but that's that's going back a long time, man. It, for it's, it's, for me, it's less the smoking. It's more the the enjoyment. It's more you you the put enjoyment, and you just just kind of relax. 
and have a have a me hour. Uh, that's why I've got that little fridge there full of them. So when people come over, it's just guys, let's just let's just have an hour or two and just just relax. <laughs> but I, I don't even see the thing. I very seldom have one myself. Uh, if if nobody's here, I just don't touch them. It's like the whiskeys. If right. if nobody's here, um, I, I touch it myself. And when somebody's over, I'm more than happy to brilliant. kind of relax. To open it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, that's, that's what's worked for me, you know. Ah, brilliant, uh, eh? Can uh, I ask you, Stephen, see the, the, the whiskey, the Dalmore you've got, the, the, the King Alexander? Yes. And, and, and taste notes, what's the difference between, obviously, your 12-year-old and your, um, your whiskey reserve? Is it a lot better? Is it, do you know what I mean? What can you... Pound, pound for pound, I would go with the... The Sherry Calf 12, that one. Um, Aye, that's which, the one I've got. I've got that one as yeah. well, yeah. Pound, pound for pound, I'd say that's the, that's the better one value for money. It's, it's a little bit cheaper. It's not as complex. The cigar malt, you hit cranberry right at the start. Really rich, kind nice. of fruity. It's off the charts. But it's like twice the price. So aye, you, you aye, get... Aye. Because it cost, cost me eighty pounds for that, eighty pound the bottle for that. I'm right. Yeah. But what about your Alexander? Because you're going into, you're going into what three hundred and something pound for that? Yeah, yeah. It's I think it's two hundred and fifty ish for the bottle of that, and um, it's right. it's lovely. But it it depends what you're doing. If you're having a cigar, cigar malt. If you're by yourself, I mean, I don't mean by sitting by yourself. If you're just having it for a dram, then the Alexander's really good, yeah. it's really cool, but it's heavy. Um, it's 40%, heavy. so it's less than 40, the Sherry Cat. 40% and it's like 300 and odd quids in that? Yeah. Great, I'm surprised yeah. at that, eh? But it's, well, it's, it's the complexity, so it's, it's, so you get the right. port wood, you get the Sherry Cask matured and then it's aged in, in port barrels, so you're getting the complex flavours, it's multiple layers, you need to just sit back, mm -hmm with mm -hmm. the kind of right glass and get the smell and then best way for me, take a sip of it, kind of slush it in your mouth, take a breath in and breathe out through your nose and you get the, the, the notes on the retro hill and it's, Aye. man, it's, it's incredible. You get you so many... In the lid in the box on top of the glass to keep the smell in and all that. I, I, don't, I don't do that. Um, uh, see, I was doing that way. I had a 21-year-old... Uh, Glen Tronic, and I was doing that way, and it was amazing. Oh, it's the, the, the Parliament, isn't it? The Parliament. Parliament. I'll tell you yeah. what, though, I had a bottle of 15 Revival, I know. It was half the price, and I think it was better. I like the Revival. The, you know, the Parliament is named after the Parliament of uh, Crows, I think it is. Aye. It's in the Keys across. I worked, I, I did work in Glen Tronic, and I got a bottle there. In fact, I've got a, a signed bottle of the cask up. Oh, aye. On the up there. Um, it's, I love that one. for a dram like a uh, outstanding whiskey, man. Yeah, the the Glengarnock one whiskey of the year this year. I, I was very privileged that I got to do work um, with Brown Foreman in the the Benriac bottling plant. Um, oh, nice, job, uh, good yeah. Job finished this year. No Benriac is owned by Brown Foreman, which owns Jack Daniels, but they own Glengarnock. Uh, ben Riak and Glen Glass, and the Glen Dronic, in my opinion, is the the best of them all. It's uh, it's an incredible, incredible. I actually met the because I was up there working, uh, doing like uh, training courses with them, and they I can't remember the guy's name. I should should know. Um, it was their master blender guy, uh, person and the the cask guy, and he worked at the Macallan. Um, all right. All right. Glen, so what you've got with Glen Dronic is. Some, it's a special whiskey, it really is. The guys up there are fabulous. After the last meeting we had, I got a bottle oh, of the, wow. the Hine. The Hine, I've, I've, no open, I've no opened it. Yeah. I've got a ruler, because that's me done, man. I can't eat hot this anymore. It's just a, just a knob. That's Aye. what I've achieved. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the same. Like I'm, My fingers are totally burnt, and I'm Aye, almost I'm getting burnt lips. It's done. What are we going to do? Well, what's what's the percentage? Just hold up the knobs at the end. <laughs> what's what's the percentage? Of what you got left? So I think you should measure what's left. Aye, what's left? Aye, the knob. That's probably a good idea. 
I think well, I win I'll that. Tell you what, I'll get. Look at I'll that. Sideways. It's still on. It's still that's on sideways. That's <laughs> Are you still going, Steve? Have you won? Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Ye
Nice. I didn't care. Soft drinks were allowed during this, like. Eh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't beat a lager. <laughs> you can't. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a good drink. Um, wait a minute. I'll see if I can get that out the wee barrel before. No, because I had something special for this challenge, and the moment <clears throat> when the connection actually established. I knocked over the table. Oh, oh no! Oh, God. And, and all Even, the... have you tried that? This is that's nice. Down. I looked right up my street, mate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Can't be a good rum, man. Oh, you can't. Eh? That's lovely. That's right, uh, we had that 57%. Old, we had that 60 year old floor to car out of that thing. You mind that? That was bloody amazing, like it. Eh? Well, that's that's nice, like fifty-seven percent water. It's just oh, like yeah, the your drinking chest, right. Like, Whoa! Oh, right oh, banana. Oh, oh, yeah! yeah. 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 Rocky boy wins. Yeah. <laughs> Distracted by the rum. Distracted by the rum. <laughs> you have to take one more drop off, and then you've won. That's what I've got left, man. Eh? So close. Yeah. <laughs> so far away. Look at that. No bad boy. Yeah. Oh, can't get to the camera. Look at that bad boy, Ash, in there. Oh, wow. The big silver Johnny. Way. Well done, you Mike Baxter. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. So, safe to get that go in. Let that go. I'll show you. Aye. I'm going to. Can you see that? It's just gonna get there. You oh. go. <laughs> Mark said, "Go." Right, Mark one. Mark showed us all up tonight. <laughs> well done, mate. Now, well, well done, done. Good, good. Peter as well. That was a good effort, man. You know what I mean? There's not nothing left to smoke in that. I couldn't go any. Couldn't go any more. Nah, nah. That's for, it. For, nah. for me, like you can see, it's it's burned right inside as well. <coughs> I was holding Aye. it and I could actually see the tobacco here. Do you know that was giving way? But uh, it's <coughs> nuclear holocaust when it drops. Like, okay, it's just like. Boom. Oh no, mine's fell in one piece. It's Aye. fine. It come right off, man. Nice. I'll tell you that Maduro, good, good, man. Yeah. Well, well done. Well done. Aye. Did you say? Uh, did you get a chance to read the October's newsletter? I've not read any of these there, have I? I've not read it yet. Uh, well, I did. Yeah, you wrote it, Peter. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote it. <laughs> you come to my newsletter, that's enough. <laughs> aye, aye, no, totally. <laughs> well, if if you want, uh, you just want to put onto the newsletter, just let me know. A really good uh, one we done last month. It was about the trip to St. Claude's and uh, yeah. good timeline, 200 years uh, pipe making, you know. So, really good read, like it. Eh? I think that would be a discussion point for the next one, man. Next time we're doing a challenge, actually have a, a, a chat about what, what was on a newsletter, too. Yep. And I, will, yeah. I, can, I can hustle you. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> so, totally. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, is there any cigars you would like to do for the next uh, virtual tasting? For, any requests? What, what, does it have to be Cuban, Stevie? No, it doesn't have to be Cuban. We have to, we have to have it. It has to be available in the UK. That E.G. Fernandez I was talking about earlier on that reminded me of the, my father. Yeah. I remember what was called. That's a that's that was a bit of a good joke. Just a bit different in that. Like, is, uh, it, is it the? It's not the Attila, no. No, no, it's a really dark Maduro. Ah, so that, that sounds mo like my type of cigar, Peter. Ah, it was what was the name of that? Person. I can't remember what it was called, but it was an E.G. Fernandez. Yeah, I can't remember where it was. She just gave us a smoke test. That's it. I wrote a review about it. I think. No, I was wanted, but it wasn't on your website. It was uh, Bella's artist. That was yeah, Bella's artist. Well done, Peter. That was it. Well Bella's artist. I get you. What, what was it called? Uh, Bella's Pedro? artist. Bella's artist. Aye, it's in the it's in the white box. That's the reason that I've put the name inside the Ziploc bag is because I didn't want the actual box. It's one of those boxes you look at it and it gets dirty. Because it's so right. white, mm -hmm. so that's an uh, uh, that's the reason that those cigars in the humidor have been kept in a ziplock bag. But as soon as that's... you open it, you know it's just 
they're, they're so dark, you know. No, uh, that's probably, that, well. that's, that sounds nice. That sounds like a type of cigar. I mean, it's not like the. Uh, uh, not quite as good as the My Father, that, but just a bit different, eh, Ken? Uh, can uh, the My Fathers are, are beautiful, honestly. Yeah, yeah. The taste, sweetness, the, the, the intensity, the, the, it's so nutty. cool. Uh, I love it. Nutty, aye. Like, aye. nutty uh, and, 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 aye, brilliant. And especially with, 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 with rum, we are dark rum. Just the splash you cook. Oh. I like a bit of dark rum with a ginger beer in it, man. Aye, Is I it like nice, a dark and stormy, man. I think that's what they're called. But, I must try aye. that. So you're going dark rum and ginger. Because I'm always aye, just, rum a, just a wee bit ginger, eh? Honestly, try it. Amazing. Uh, aye, I'm always going dark rum and coke, and I just get that because that you get that the, the chocolate coming through for the coke, aye. and you get the the intensity for the for the dark rum. You get bananas, raisins. Um, oh. try, try it, man. I'm telling you, it's a different a different drink. It's amazing, like. Is it? Aye. I'll get I'll get that at the weekend. Then I'll get that at the oh, weekend. Just, I'll, just a wee it, splash. What a, I've tried loads of rums, Peter, but the one that keeps coming back, that you must try it. You'll pay a wee bit extra for it, but it's uh, Kill Devil, and it's oh, Navy like Strength. That. Kill oh, Devil, aye. it's absolutely beautiful. It really is. Um, and you can get it down Coburn Street at to Lock Fine Whiskies. Um, Kill Devil, um, Navy Strength, it's absolutely stunning. Really I'll do that, man. I tell you, I love a rum like it. Uh, I was saying rum in the summer, whiskey in the winter. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. From the aye. cockles. <laughs> rum, yeah. Right, Beautiful. so that, that's it settled then. We'll do the next uh, virtual tasting. We'll try and get one for this month. And uh, oh, yeah. we'll go with AJ Fernandez. Right, thank that's you, good. Man. Thanks for Steve. Thanks for that. Well, thank you thank for you taking man. part, guys. Really, really appreciate it, you know. No. Um, yeah, Thanks for inviting me. Everyone, yeah, everyone had fun in that, yeah? Oh, aye, brilliant. Uh, aye, brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much. It, it's good to crack with you in that. Good. Always a pleasure, it was, really nice. it was good. Always a pleasure, man. And Stephen, the next time you see a guy sitting in a white van, right, it's not the local simpleton, it's <laughs> myself. <laughs> giving it. Oh, just, just give us a show, man, and I'll, 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 I'll get my attention, I'll stop, we'll have a chat, man, definitely. Nay baller, nay baller, Stephen. Thanks very much. Thanks, uh, right, Peter, man. Pedro, and Stevie. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Well, Stevie, thanks. Guys. Peter, guys, it's been brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Great last nice one. Enjoy the uh, rest of your evening.